Hey y'all. So I know I ain't posting in a while and I just thought that I would post me seasoning my pork chops and cooking them up. I'm actually gonna cook them in the oven, but right now I already washed them off. I dried them off. Um, the pan was already sprayed down. I'm actually going to spray the top of them. I know some people will pour like the olive oil on it and rub it down, but I feel like I use less oil when I use the spray. But we're gonna put some pepper on all of them. Sort of upset because I am out of crushed red pepper. Y'all know I put crushed red pepper on everything. And you are not gonna see me put salt on this, but you are gonna see me season generously told you I'm I am not a salt seasoner type person because I told you before I feel like salt works against us not for us well especially women and the terms for women because you know we hold salt I'm sorry we hold water very much this is garlic seasoning. I'm not gonna put the tops on tight because I am going to flip them. I wish I had some sazoon for even more color and taste. And I don't know if I said it, but this is onion. If I did, sorry for telling you again. I like to put chili powder. Yeah, I put a lot of different seasonings on my meat. And the thing about it is when people eat it, they can't tell there's no salt, that I don't add salt. Because I season these bad boys down, down. We're gonna do the paprika next. And this is just regular, it's not smoked. Smoked is good too, whatever kind you got. Oh, we are gonna set our oven. I'm gonna do 325 because I don't have it in a deep pan. If I had it in a deep pan, then I won't have to worry about, because you know, when it comes to pork chops, depending on how they are cut, if they're thin, they can come out a little dry. I don't want no dry pork chops, so we're gonna do low. Oh, that's my nutritional yeast, y'all. Y'all know I, I do that in my eggs and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna do cayenne pepper also. Mm, I almost messed that up. There we go, cayenne pepper. I'm out of the crushed red peppers, but I would have used both, even if I had crushed red pepper. I like a little spice. And I usually don't, I know it's, it's just me and I'm the only one eating this. I usually do not meal prep, but I wanna make sure, I'm gonna do some basil, y'all. There's a secret about using dry herbs. You wanna put it in your hand and you actually want to crush it. It brings the oil out of the seasoning and the flavor comes out even better. But like I was saying, I don't really meal prep, but it is just me, and I can't just take one pork chop out the pack. I did freeze it when I got home, but I unfroze them I was ready to cook them. So I am going to meal prep 
the rest of them and put them in containers and eat it today and then probably decide I might eat it tomorrow or I'm just gonna push that down or I might put it in the freezer and then I can grab it when I want but remember the pork chops will be cooked now we are flipping them the other side is already old Oof, it's heavy I think it's the one I'm gonna eat today this is good you see I'm pushing down the seasoning helps the seasoning not to come off as much so I got my dirty hand I got my clean hand you want to keep a clean hand y'all hold on let me wash my hair real quick because I can't pick up no seasoning yes I can I can't pick up that one all right Let's see. Now nah, this would be easier. Let me wash my hands. Hold on. Better if I use the glove, huh? All right, let's go ahead and season the other side. This time we'll go a little backwards. Well, I'm gonna try to go backwards. I might mess up the order, but I don't know why I do that. I season one way and then the other side, I season it like backwards. <laughs> kind of weird, huh? I love basil, y'all. Basil is like one of my favorite herbs. And I use it in a lot of things. I also season my chicken like this. Depending on what's, what's going on. If it's just like some regular meat. This one kind of big, y'all. I'm trying to try and give it some love. All right, let's do some cayenne. Cayenne came to the show today. I know some people like to put their seasonings in a bowl and mix them all together. That's fine too. But I don't like doing that because I'd be afraid I'm not going to have enough to go all the way around. And another thing is I don't use salt. So none of the things I have is salt based. So, you know, it's okay. I can put as much seasoning as I want. Almost like how the Mrs. Dash seasoning is. Like you can use as much as you want. You don't have to worry about no water weight. I don't think this one's next, y'all. Told y'all don't. Don't get on me. This folks do want to, I think, third to the last, but it's all okay. This is garlic. Paprika. Rika came to the party. Mm -hmm. Yes, I season my meat down. Gotta treat that meat good, you know? Alright, I'm done. I'm done with Jack. I'm done. <laughs> uh, my onion. I like onion powder too. That's one of my favorites. Put onion powder in like 
everything. Even if it's something that's supposed to be onion already, I still put more onion powder. Put some chili. I know some people don't like chili powder. I do. That's the oven is ready. I don't think I'm gonna do the, I think I did that one already. I don't think I'm gonna do the whole meal prep with y'all. Just gonna cook my pork chops and then I'm going to show y'all the end result. Did I do pepper already? I don't think so. I'm getting confused, that's why I should have stayed in order. All right, did we do it all, y'all? I think we did. So now this is going into the oven at 325 for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to check on them. And they should be done. Um, I'm not going to flip. I'm just going to let them cook. And then, but I might boil. I might boil them. All right, y'all. I'll let it go 15 minutes. That's what we got so far. I was not going to turn it, but I think I am. Can I see it? They are nice and juicy. Oh, look at the color. Yeah, I'm happy I'm turning them. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> I said I was gonna do 20 minutes. They're basically done, but I'm gonna let the other side brown up a little bit and sit inside the Oh, they look so good. See the side of juices? Y'all see that? They look great. Let me give y'all a view of you. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> Mouth watering. All right, so I'm about to put them back in for like another five minutes and then they will be done. All right, y'all, so you can see my pork chops are done. There were six, but I have five inside of containers for the store, stow away, store away for, you know, meal prep in the oven. I got frozen broccoli and I seasoned it with my basil, onion powder, onion powder garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. And I'm gonna put this into the oven and let it roast. And yes, I do have it on the same pan that the pork chops was on because it it's already seasoned on the bottom. So, you know, there we go. It's all good. It's all good. All right. I'll be back when I plate these into the thing, into the little cubbies. What do you want to call them? All right. Here we go. I roasted the broccoli up and this is what it looks like. It smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and plate them up and I'll let y'all see one of the plates. All right, right y'all. So here we go. Here goes one of the plates. Got my broccoli, my seasoned broccoli that I cooked in the oven, and my baked pork chop. And I'm just letting them cool a little bit, and I'm gonna cover them all up and put them in a the freezer. So that's five days, but like I said, I'm cooking this, and then I think tomorrow I'm probably gonna cook chicken with something else. And then, like I said, I have my plate on the side. My plate on the side. And with this, I'm going to eat a um, sweet potato with it. And then when I pull these out, what I'll do, I will either eat just the meat and the vegetable, or I would like 
eat another sweet potato with it. Sweet potato or rice or mashed potatoes, whatever I want to make. But it'd probably be something like a sweet potato, something that's easy and quick. And I won't have a lot of leftover because these dishes, as you can see, they're a little small. I mean, I could make the mashed potatoes and I probably could have put it up under the pork chops. Maybe I'll do that next time, but I'm probably going to eat like sweet potatoes or baked potatoes with them. Maybe half or a whole. Depends on how I feel. But thanks for watching, y'all. Little meal prep. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Bye.